Static equilibrium. It's a term that you can use to sound smart. And that's what we'll be talking about today. So uh, static equilibrium is just a fancy term that means things are not accelerating. Um, so we have an equation of equilibrium that we will use. And for the statics part of this course, this equation probably will solve a majority of the problems that we're going to work through. So this means the sum of all the forces, and these are vectors, so I put a hat on there, is equal to zero. And this is actually a vector of zeros. So for a 2D problem, right, we will have this vector represents the x direction and the y direction. And those will be both equal to zero. All right. For a 3D problem, we also have the extra equation fz equals zero. So, all right. So that's why this is a vector of zeros. So it's three zeros here. Okay. Now, static equilibrium is not just things at rest, right? When we say static equilibrium, they can be things that are at a constant velocity. And a good example of this is maybe um, you've heard of terminal velocity before. So if you drop something, let's say out of a plane, um, it will begin accelerating up to a point, And then at that point, it no longer will speed up. The velocity doesn't change at all. And that's what we call terminal velocity. And what's actually happening in that situation is our weight downward, right? Our weight that usually causes us to accelerate towards the ground is being counterbalanced by a force of drag. So our, the shape of our body is giving some drag and these two are equal, so we're not accelerating. The sum of the forces is equal, are equal to zero in this case. So that's an intro to static equilibrium.